Well, g'day, fishos. It's the end of the week, which means it's fishing report time. Uh, lots to report this week. Plenty of good fish caught this week. We'll begin the estuary. Uh, there's some nice mulloway being caught in the estuary right now. Some absolute beauties from the break wall all the way up to the Karua at the moment. So some good signs of some good mulloway fishing leading into next week's full moon, that's for sure. Uh, Josh, who came in visiting Angela from down south, came in, bought a new twin power, decided to uh, to go and give it a christen down off the break wall, throw on a few vibes on uh, only on 12 pound braid, that new cast braid, ending up with a metre nine mulloway. So an absolute beauty down the break wall. A few others caught down there during the week as well. Uh, some kingies down off the break wall, smashing into those little frogmouth pilchards along with salmon bonito. So the break wall on fire at the moment. There's plenty of bait down there. You'll see the birds when the tide rushes out feeding on those bait school with the salmon and bonito up underneath them and the kingies aren't far away. So that break wall is sensational at the moment. A few brim down there as well. So if you're a keen angler, land-based angler, I would say get yourself down to the break wall this weekend on a change of tide. You'll find that you might catch a matter of all species, that's for sure. So arm up, arm up on the kings, arm up on the mulloway, Arm up on the brim, arm up on the, uh, on, even on the bonito and the salmon. So take a variety of, um, of outfits down to the break wall. Now further up in the bay, like I said, Mulloway up around that Soldiers Point Fame Cove. If you want a live bait or vibe up that way, we just had another uh, shipment of uh, the Nomad uh, in the squid tracks. So plenty of those in stock as well. So lots of guys using those at the moment, both uh, in the bay and out on the reefs of reds in that deeper water too. So definitely worth a the shot there. Uh, some flatties around, plenty of good flatties, especially up the Tealagary. Uh, it's on fire this year. I think uh, because we haven't had the rain, those flatties have sat up in those shallows during winter and definitely stirred up. Now that water's sitting at 20 degrees, a bit over 20 degrees. Uh, so the flatties up Tealagary have just been sensational. There's even been Mulloway up Tealagary. I was actually up there yesterday afternoon for a flatted fish, uh, testing out some of the new bait junkie colours. And we we're catching small mulloway in just like two meters of water. So they're only little fellas, undersized, but great fun. It was good to test out some new product, which that new bait junkie will be coming in November, I've been assured, because I had the dial rep with me yesterday and I held him to ransom. So there you go. So uh, new bait junkies coming in November. They do work. We we're using the, um, the new regular tails and they work really well, especially on flatties. And a few mulloway, we'll throw a few photos up later. So there you go. Um, like I said, up the Karua, some good flatties and some good mulloway up the Karua. You just got to venture up a little bit further up towards Allworth and you'll fish pretty well up there. Uh, a couple of mud crabs being caught up there as well at the moment. So definitely worth a shot up that way. Now, the whiting is starting to, to happen in the estuary as well. I know a few guys last weekend that few, threw a few surface lures starting in a few whiting. That water's starting to warm, although your live worms are going to be your best bet at the moment. So fishing the shallows, incoming tide, live worm, um, and you'll definitely find that uh, the whiting will certainly be on the flats at the moment, those big sandies. Uh, we've got plenty of live worms in stock for this weekend as well. So definitely it's worth a shot on the whiting at the moment. Uh, a few squid starting to turn up actually, a few arrow squid and cuttlefish around Shoal Bay. So if you're keen on doing that, looks like we've got nor'easters for the weekend. So the bay will, will fish particularly well. Now on the beaches, uh, that bit of southerly definitely has moved that red reed on a little bit. So uh, if you're keen on getting the, to the beaches, I definitely have a look around. Uh, like I said, a lot of that red weed has shifted. I know Samurai seems to be pretty good at the moment after that southerly um, and Baruby as well. So it'd be a weekend to actually fish the beaches with those northerly winds. So Samurai, uh, one mile, and obviously Baruby worth a shot this weekend. Um, and there's been a few whiting starting to turn up, even though the water's a little bit cooler on the ocean. There are a few whiting around. Definitely salmon and tailor. And uh, leading up to the full moon next week, it'll be definitely worth a mulloway fish on, on any of those beaches at the moment. Now on the rocks, after that swell, definitely be a good weekend to fish the rocks. Uh, it's all stirred up. Uh, looking at it, there was plenty of swell smashing into boat harbour, smashing into little rocky, big rocky all through there. Uh, if you're keen on doing that, there will be some drummer around. Spoke to Adam who fished the rocks last weekend, did pretty well on the drummer, did pretty well on the larger, and also got a few nice reds as well uh, down towards Boulder Bay. So definitely worth fishing the rocks this weekend. You could have a spin off the rocks as well. Uh, those salmon and tail are still on one mile point, and also uh, the headland there at Fingal as well. Just remember that headland there at Fingal, they've got the road closed off, so you've got to walk up and around. So it's a bit of a pain at the moment doing some road works up there, but. Uh, Definitely worth the walk in to Fingal at the moment, that's for sure. Now, 
Some good snapper caught the last couple of days, although it's been rough, a few boys got out and got some really, really nice snapper in the shallows this time after that swell. Uh, we're on that new moon, so definitely worth fishing the shallows. Looking at the rip charts, there's actually a big spiral of water up off Seal Rocks. It's around about 22 degrees pushing down. Um, so that'll be worth fishing up towards that way if that water pushes into that Edith area. Uh, it'll certainly stir the reds up, but it'll also stir the kings up as well. So that first northerly push of current is coming down. Unusual this time of year to get a little bit of that 22 degree water. So who knows what will push in with that. Uh, definitely looking at kings, they'll fire up with a bit of warmer water, that's for sure. So if you're keen on doing a bit of uh, stick baiting, um, if that water hangs around, despite these northerlies, uh, definitely worth doing that up towards seals and also around Broughton as well. Uh, the big gibbers fishing pretty well too. Um, there's some really nice trag up there at the moment. There's a little bit of current pushing down there, uh, which fires up the trag and some nice reds just inside. Uh, the gibber there as well, so definitely worth a shot there. Back down towards uh, the V, the 21, all that area. I uh, know Pacific Blue Charters did pretty well last weekend, getting some nice snapper up to four kilos, so worth a shot there. Around the islands, definitely Little Island, uh, Big Island or Boodle Bar, uh, worth a shot throwing a few pillies or garries into the washes there, uh, definitely for a few snapper and a bigger tailor this time of year. Now out wider, uh, I know the Omen caught a couple of striped marlin last weekend, looking at rip charts, like I said earlier. Uh, there is that trickle of current coming down. On the shelf, it looks like it's about 22 and a half degrees, so there's a defined temperature break out there. So uh, if you can get out there this weekend, definitely worth a shot uh, at a couple of early season striped marlin. Like I said last week, uh, there was fish to the north. I reckon they've pushed down with that current there as well. So definitely worth a shot towards the shelf this weekend if you can get out there. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, pretty good fishing. I'd definitely get out there this weekend because it's definitely going to be worth it.